um, tequila. She go hard or she go hard tequila or Miss Tiki. Um, yes, I have several names. But if you look up she go hard, you find everything. Um, story time. Name of this. What am I gonna call this? Let me see. Well, not what am I gonna call it, but this is unpacking my life, organizing my life. So those are the two names I'm calling this first segment. So what I want to do on a daily, I miss some self therapy. And when I say self therapy, when people go to a therapist, they um, pretty much just get it off their chest. They talk to a therapist. Now that's different than a psychiatrist. A therapist is just somebody for you to go and talk to. You know, they give you a few hints, but the type of person that I am, me going to a therapist talking about my life and what's going on, it's just me talking to them, getting it off my chest. But I feel like <clears throat> doing this right here is pretty much the same thing because going to a therapist, they only tell you some stuff you already know. You kind of go for advice that's just like if you're eating too many sweets, you already know that you're eating too much sugar. You don't need to go to a therapist to tell you these are things that you need to change. And some therapists give people um, ideas on how to cope with things like death or, um, you know, depression or something like that. So, um, I'm organizing my life and I'm unpacking my life because sometimes you have to unpack your life to deal with, with, with what you went through in your life. You know, sometimes we have things packed in and we don't get it out. So, um, my daily video of unpacking my life and organizing my life. I'm unpacking my past. That's what I'm doing. Unpacking my past and I'm organizing my life. So, unpacking my past and organizing my life. So, um, what do we want to unpack today? This is the very first video. Um, of unpacking my past and organizing my life. Um, we can talk about where I'm at today. You gotta start from somewhere. And um, sometimes the hardest thing to do is unpack your own life and just get started. So, um, I got up this morning. Um, I started my day, I had my cup of coffee. Um, and I got dressed. I went live because I need to do more content. I am an entertainer and I think that's the hardest thing about being on the internet. I do be on the internet a lot. Do be. <laughs> um, I do be on the internet a lot, but I don't put up the quality content that I should be putting up um, to be successful the way that I know I can be successful. So I had to start and I felt like if I can unpack my past and organize my life, I can move forward with everything that I need to do. And I'm a person that do a lot. I never say that I'm a jack of all trade. I say that I'm a master of many. Um, me being a Gemini, I love all kind of things. I have different hobbies and different things that I like to do. And not just, you know, a jack of them. I master them. So, um, yeah, I felt like I needed to get to it because... I know how to record myself, I know how to edit, um, and I just record myself with videos. I'm an engineer in the studio, I record my own songs. Um, I know how to edit videos, I do t-shirts, seasoning, uh, graphic design, all these things I do, not just for myself, but other people too. But I need to do it more for myself, and that's the thing. I've always been a person that put other people first, and I haven't been putting myself first in my career. So now it's the time for me to put myself first. Focus on me. And to the people out there, there is nothing wrong with you focusing on yourself. Doing something for yourself. Sometimes people will get mad at you because you're focusing on yourself and you're not doing for them. So right now, I'm doing for me. I'm going to go hard for myself. So I'm unpacking my past and organizing my life. Um, so in, in the last couple of months, my life has changed uh, a lot. <laughs> I no longer live in Houston. Um, I live in Houston and Louisiana. Uh, my dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer and I am 
I was his only child for a long time. I'm his oldest child. He has two children. It's me and my brother, Trey Lynn. And um, so I moved back to Louisiana to help him with this process of going through radiation and things like that. So in May, I moved out of my house in Cypress, Texas, which is um, the suburbs of Houston. And um, man, I was like depressed. I'm not really depressed. I think I was just real anxious. And um, I'm worried about not, not being comfortable um, and being back in Louisiana. So I moved out of my house in May. My two oldest kids, uh, which is Tino and Jace, they moved in their own apartment. So, you know, they were all excited they were getting their own place. And they have their own place and they've been doing good. And like I said, that was back in May. So in May, I moved out of my house Transit start transitioning to Louisiana. My two oldest kids moved in their own apartment and you know got their life out the way, you know, on the road. So I'm like sitting here, like, oh, I'm a mama and my kids are not at home no more. So I was having those emotions of my kids being grown and you know, just life is changing. Um, on top of that, I went from being a rapper um, and a songwriter to getting in Southern Soul and um. So all at the same time, I had music dropping. Um, you know, I was working a full-time job um, in accounts receivable. And I just had a lot going on. So it was a lot on my plate and I was overwhelmed for a while and just had to figure it out and get back to myself. So now that I've been in Louisiana for a couple of months, things are really smoothing out and it feels good. So um, I had to start unpacking my past and the thing about it is, I was a, a flight person. You know, some people are fight or flight. I was a flight person. So in 96, when I graduated, I left Louisiana as soon as I graduated. And um, I had my reasons. So we're going to get into that in unpacking my past. Um, but today is part of organizing my life. So I set up the backdrop today. I set up the lights, the camera. Um, and did all of that so here we are and um, this is tequila and, and I guess unpacking my life you know I, I'm a Gemini I do have multiple personalities uh, and each one have their own hobby so um, with that being said unpacking my past and organizing my life is about one part of me um, which is Keela because my family called me Keela um, my name is LaQuinta. Tequila is also my name. Um, but unpacking my past is about Keila, the girl, um, who grew up in Clinton, Louisiana, the country, and all that kind of stuff. And organizing my life is with my current every day and making sure that I'm doing what I do to be the best at everything that I'm doing and be successful at what I'm doing and not be all over the place. So I'm unpacking my past and organizing my life. And this is day one, episode one. And um, I wanna take you guys along on this journey because guess what? Everything ain't always sweet. I'm sitting here smiling and stuff like that. But when you unpacking your past and things you've been through in your life, it can get real serious. But I'm thankful today where I'm at, how I'm feeling, what I'm doing. and. Um, Tequila, she go hard. Thank y'all for tuning in.